I'm Rodolfo Roman on the Roman Show here with Josh Sampo. How'd your fight go? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you guys? I hope we got the bloopers of that. That's pretty good. That was incredible. All right, Rodolfo Roman of the Roman Show. I am with the CFA flyweight champion Josh Sampo. Josh, what a magnificent fight. Although I was thrown off by uh, Sam's unorthodox moves you're on the ground he's doing like these luke kang kicks dude he's got a really weird style it was kind of hard to adapt to so i mean we had to go back to our wrestling roots and jujitsu and just kind of pin him down um not let him get off on his his specialty and then uh grind out a win it wasn't the most beautiful or most appealing type win but hey it's a win nonetheless now going into this fight he had fought last time he fought it was a year uh that he last fought sam how much, how much homework did you do on this guy? Because there really isn't too much on him. The thing is, is uh, I, I don't do homework. I feel that that's my coach's job. You know, if I, I've got a bad tendency, if I watch a video, I'm gonna be like, oh well, he he circles right when he throws his kick. You know what I mean? I, my mind gets stuck on that. So to, to completely negate that, I don't even watch any film. I like, hey, this is a guy. Go 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 find out what you can. And then my coaches do a really good job of implementing that into my into my camp as we're training. This guy, hey, I want you to do this. Stay south, Paul. Throw this crazy stuff. But we didn't see any of this kind of stuff. We weren't prepared for that. I mean, we, we were prepared for unorthodox stuff, but not nothing of that level. So, I mean, I, my hat's off to him. The guy's got some skill. There, there were times that you were trying to attempt a submission. Was that frustrating at times? Because you, you <laughs> probably thought you had this in, in the bag? Um, you know, the fight's never over till it's over. So, I mean, if until he taps, it's not over. So, in my mind, I don't want to go for submission and fatigue myself to a point to where I cannot continue, you know what I mean, or I can't use those limbs anymore. So, I've got a, a mental... A mental switch that if I'm going for submission and they're toughing it out enough to where I'm not getting what I want or I don't have the right angle, I'll re reset it or try to reset. So that's what, I know I had to do that a few times in the fight. Well, there have been some names that were thrown out there on Twitter as far as your next opponent. As you're still CFA flyweight champion. Anyone in mind that you think they might blind you up? Dude, I want Ian McCall so bad. I know he's in the UFC and stuff. And the, the big names are the top 15 guys that are out there are all in the UFC. And so... You know, if we can get one of those, if I got to call somebody to get them cut or something, I don't know. But I just want to fight the biggest names possible and go as far as possible with my career. So You're still under contract to CFA for now? I believe so. I'm still, if the UFC calls, and I think I, I have an out clause with the UFC, but that's about it. So well, There was a few a past opponent there in uh, the audience who still claims he's number one flyaway, and that's Alexis Vila, who you defeated last time to win that belt. Dude, I love Alexis, man. Me and him, we're sitting here just chatting, talking about, you know, fighting and stuff like that. Dude, I look up to the guy guy's done so much and still continues to do so much at his age it's he's he's an inspiration honestly and um to be i hope that when i am actually up there in age when he is where he's at right now that i can still be able to compete with these younger kids and and fight at a high level that he does last time around you took some time off are you going to be doing the same i know you got your degree congratulations on that dude no i mean i'd like to turn right around and fight again here as soon as possible um the, the school that I work for, it's an alternative school, it's an ACE Learning Center in uh, St. Louis, and they're very, uh, well, th for this fight at least, they were very, you know, uh, they, they worked with me and let me off on the days that I needed, but it worked out great. Like, I, I'd leave work, go straight to the gym, get my training in, I'd get up early, work out. So, I mean, it, I worked around it, made it happen, so I have to work a full-time job. Yeah, it kind of stinks, but and you got to do what you got to do. You can't really make a living off a couple grand every now and again. So Josh, thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Mom and Dad, I love you. Thanks, everybody, for coming out and watching, man. Can't Congratulations. Thank you, guys.